What's up people? If you are fresh new player and watching this video, it means that I saved your day and saved your weeks. I mean, uh, this video is about the nine mistakes which you will make once you will enter in Throne and Liberty as the new player and you will realize those mistakes about in one week and two weeks and you would be so sad. But since you are watching this video, you are the saved. Uh, I want to start with the first mistake. The main mistake is that you don't have uh, subscribed to my channel. That is the big point because uh, I make a lot of Throne and Liberty guideline videos. I have a bunch of videos which will help you so much at the uh, global release of Throne and Liberty. And yes, your first mistake is that you did not subscribe my channel. So hit the subscribe button and let's go. It was a joke. <laughs> of course, this is not the first mistake. You just can watch it and don't subscribe. But I will be so happy if you will uh, subscribe the channel. It's increasing the motivation for me. Okay, guys, uh, what will happen once you will do some kind of storyline uh, shit? You will be here. I mean, you will start the game from this location. Once you will start the game, this location, you have to go to this section of the game let me turn something like this you can just turn you don't have to turn this on i just have i i just like to do some kind of things and uh, the first one you have to do to click the g on your keyboard and click the guild you have to enter the guild it does not matter it's your friends or they are not your friends just check the list of the guilds once you will press the g there will be the list just i'm in the guild already and that's why i don't see it and in throne and liberty your guild gives you a lot of profit even if you don't know the people if you don't communicate with the people at the early stages once you are leveling up you don't have to miss this opportunity after you finish the level you can uh, you can leave this guild and join the other guilds but first step once you will go to the throne and liberty and i think you need some kind of level even the uh, even the system campaign is asking you to join the guild and yes you have to do it it is mandatory and it is important first of all it's important because you are doing this donation contract counts and you are getting this one these guild coins are important one uh, i will back to these guild coins in some minutes uh, and the rewards check this reward this is the small amount of rewards for example this is the guild rewards it gives you a lot of rewards it is your just gameplay you don't do some specific activities and since the guild is active other people have to be active you will get you will get the, uh, those rewards uh, easily also make sure if it's the fresh new server the guild have to be as much bigger as possible to they reach the 10 level faster because you will spend this guild coin on the 10 level in the guild shop so it's mandatory to enter in the guild all the time uh watch this timer and uh, donation make a donation for the guild for you get these guild coins 10 guild coins for each click it is important and it is mandatory so that was the situation now uh, we have the second mistake it's the uh, contract master mistake and the contract master system will lead you to go on this location and you have sorry here and you will have to take the contracts from this guy okay you will take the contracts because the campaign quest will ask you to do it but guys never ever in throne and liberty don't you dare to use this contract limits for your uh for your level up never don't do it don't spend your contracts just for nothing i mean just check this check this this is nothing i mean it's nothing these rewards are garbage i mean it's totally garbage so you don't have to spend it you don't dare to spend your contracts every day you will have 10 recharged contracts but 
since you are leveling up your character the campaign quests giving you the a lot of contracts and you will have more than limit but to spend these contracts for this garbage is uh, unacceptable and i show you why it's unacceptable once you will reach the 50 level and it's highly important if server is fresh remember if server is fresh you have to rush the 50 level this is highly important part so once you will fi uh, reach the 50 level you have to come this location or you can go to this uh pilgrims town location and check this out check this you get the chance to get these kind of contracts and it gives you the bag this bag is highly important part for the game it's highly important part of for the game accept it you just re-roll it again and you have a chance to get this damn bag current contracts i have this okay i will take the uh, let me uh, show you example how you can mm, hunt for the bag every time you will take something for example you need materials you will take uh, the second part is always get the weapon enchant this is highly mandatory to get the weapon enchant and every time you take it you roll it take it roll it you're waiting the bags again if i will be lucky for this video maybe i will take this too okay i need this you can take the skill book roll it take it roll it take it roll it just like that just like that simple so i need this more i think roll it so uh, there is no uh, bag but there can be the bags it is highly mandatory to take those bags and now let me show you why it's highly mandatory to take those bags uh, the third mistake in throne and liberty is that you have to take the mystic keys uh every day you will need to come here any kind of location of the map you have to find contract coin merchant and you have to buy this mystic keys it is not a uh, cheap it is the cheap i think it is the cheap you will need 75 coins uh contract coins to get these keys so when i told you to don't do the contract uh, on the lower level you can go like this uh you can play whole day before the rest start of the day you can take some contract i mean uh, you will be at the middle uh, middle uh, level like in Valenta and you can take a specific let me show you, show you the specific contracts just because of the mystic keys because this is the one most important part right now in the game this is the one of the most important part right now in the game and let me show you let me see so if you will be in the Valenta at the first day yeah you will get 24 maybe 20 always find the more 25 always take the 25 so you will need only three uh, contracts spent to buy this mystic keys yes that is also important part and let me go back here and once you will reach the 50 level also don't forget to once you will done the high level contracts don't forget to buy these bags these bags are also so important uh do i uh, hiding it wait a second here is the mystic keys maybe i'm hiding it okay let me go here so here is the mystic keys what i told you to buy and here is the bags which you have to buy it so after the 50 level of course these bags and these mystic keys are so important part for your gameplay let me go to the beginners location and yes these bags and these mystic keys let me show you are important part because once you will reach the level 50 these bags will be uh, so good not only for this i mean you need lucky for this but for this this is the contract you can check the video for me it will be in the description of this video that the, this one is the resistance force contracts and 
this is so amazing thing of at the beginning of the mo okay, moment this is highly important things and the mystic keys you will loot it's it's have chance to give you the blue gear it's have chance to give you the blue uh skill and chance it's have chance to give you the purple gear and purple and chat i will put the link also description of this video about these uh, mystic keys and what kind of proficiency these mystic keys can uh give you so it's highly mandatory to get them the next mistake is that event it does not matter what level are you you have to participate the event check this here is the event uh it is comes from the timetable let me get back myself on the normal position okay this is so uh this is the you will open it with the m map oh, sorry sometimes my alt gets crazy uh the timetable and you have to check ongoing events check this event it is mandatory to do in any kind of level it doesn't matter you will go on the first position or not you have to do it this will be your first event even the system is asking you to do it so reward is normal i mean it is normal reward and you will take a lot of experience and a lot of uh loose uh, solent sorry like this solent currency from this event so anytime you will see on the timetable this event is coming you have to go also anytime you will see this uh, piece if you are not in a uh, guild uh, i mean in fighting guild and powerful guild y if you see this one you have to go there also because this will give you this chest even in one hit you just need to hit the one time and take back and to don't die and it will gives you this uh, bag which is so helpful it's uh, here you can find the skill and chance here you can find the, the resurrection coin and here you can find the, the soul shards kind of things and here you can find this item which will help you in the craft and for the event one yes never ever miss this opportunity to participate with this event as the new and uh, beginner player these events daily events they are up every three hours is important for you if you uh, it's uh, guys listen listen if you don't have gear or something and if for example you are um, 30 level 30 level don't go on 30 level location and just go on uh, 8 to 11 location or 12 to 60 level location it's not mandatory to go on on your uh the same location as your level is for the event it's matter how many items you will far so don't go always on your uh exactly location if you're not geared just go to the lower level location a bit one step down i mean if you're on this range go here if you're on this range go here it is simple and it is highly mandatory to do it so the next thing guys i, I want to show you is um, the guild system which you will need to use you remember when i told you that you will need these guild coins and let me show you how you can spend those guild coins you have to go the nearest location is the Vilenta village and um, in Vilenta village guild merchant you will find this guild merchant let me take myself up here so this is the guild uh, uh, merchant and guys 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 don't spend even at the beginning of the game don't spend money uh, uh, the guild coins for this one no 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 nothing buy this buy this as much as you can first you need to buy your weapon and trust me this one is good if the server is the fresh new and you are the if, if it's your first weapon this weapon it was my mage weapon it's really good i mean it's normal it's good it's okay any weapon from this section is okay as the blue weapon to wear it as the first weapon so uh, also i remember the c campaigns are gifting you uh, the one blue weapon so if i took the stuff for uh, that moment and for the second weapon you can buy from this 
craft this and use this also you if you will collect a lot of guild coins i'm saving these coins uh, i want to make the guild proficiency video on my channel so that's why i'm saving it but on the global version of the game once i will have all kind of videos and contents uploaded to the on my channel i will not save these guild coins uh, and i will spend them as fast as possible to craft these weapons and get the trades from this weapon and you can sell th those weapons with a really good amount of loot. and just check this out check these weapons i mean you see no no check this this is the guild weapons this one all of them is the guild weapons check this so guys um uh, that is also the main step that you have to click it click 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 click, click. always click it all the time click uh, this kind of stuff uh, the third thing in this uh, situation is the uh, your items I mean never ever take some stupid items and wear it always focus in item it doesn't matter is it green is it blue or is it purple at the beginning uh mostly the green and the blue one always take the hit crit uh, critical hit and evasion parts if you see something have a hit it's mandatory to take it because hit is your accuracy and if you don't have enough hit you can miss to the mob you can miss to the player hit is mandatory then is the critical hit and then is the evasion always take these three parts uh these three parts of the the three stats for the your gear as the mandatory before you reach some kind of uh, uh before you will reach end game and you realize what is the best for you to go on that stuff uh the next step guys is the lithograph and guys guys listen you have to finish these lithographs okay it, this is my mistake also on the korean region and i try to finish these lithographs but every time you will have something to uh, Okay, this lithograph is mandatory to use it because it gives you really good items at the beginning and at the end it will gives you so good items like these boxes are so important this part of this just check these skills are also so important right now and right this moment and uh, this is also the gear parts and everything which is also highly important for your gameplay yes this is this is so good so you always have to focus on your lithograph the next part is guys that if the server is fresh your idea to rush the 50 level is highly mandatory you have to rush the 50 level for some certain reasons all the time you will rush the 50 level you can go on this location which i showed you and do that high amount of uh, high um, contracts which gives you the high amount of contract coins and have opportunity to take this bag uh, contract as the chest li uh, quest like this one yes this uh, so once you will reach 50 level you will take that uh, opportunity to farm those bags and once you will open these bags uh, with the random chance for these items there is also a uh, guaranteed drop for uh, two of these contracts from one chest you are you are getting to drop these two contracts let me open it for you now quickly so i get the sardoma island two contract and some shit okay it does not matter this sarudoma island contract if you once you will do it i mean when you are clicking to do it it gives you the bag can i do it one two three four five okay i cannot open it but remember it is the simple it is exactly the same contract and it gives you this sarudoma bag tyrant tyrant die this bag each of these contracts means each of these bags i have 101 uh, bags it means that i've done 101 contracts it, these contracts also give you the highest amount of uh, contract coins 737 coins and check this bag check guys these bags these bags have a chance to give those items and it is highly probability to get it also each contract gives you the uh, these uh, th these 
uh, abyssal currency so i have 320 abyssal currency i have it because i've done the 320 uh instance contract and that's why i have those items and this one is guaranteed i mean you can choose it and you can guaranteed craft the any kind of chest which you want for example this one i want i need 80 of this and i will craft this this is important guys you have to be 50 level to do this content because when you are opening these chests i will open this chest when i will once i will reach 100 of these bags and i will record the video that's why i did not open it right now right this moment and when you're opening these bags and you get the items which you don't need you can extract the trade and you can sell it for the market check this check this for example some times ago i sold this on the market for the uh for the where the fuck it is okay i uh, hear it here it is for 90.99 now it's cost like 400 it's the prices is going down all the time so it's rush and mandatory to go at the 50 level as fast as possible also guys you have to remember the uh, next step is that uh, not all kind of purple items are the best yes they are not the best let me go to the auction house and let's go for example the weapons the great sword uh, this great sword now this great sword now is from the contract coins you get it so easy it is purple but it does not mean that this one is the good no this is not a good that's why it's the cheapest one people are using it for to get the trades and what is the trades you can check the videos i don't want to talk about everything in this one and this means that you don't have to invest your uh, trades invest your enchants invest your solar with the garbage weapon so not every single purple weapons are good for you they are for the supply usage and don't go in that mistake and don't use the purple weapons as um, your main weapons and don't start to invest in the shit weapons uh you also can check the videos i guys i have a lot of guidelines i mean i don't want to talk about in one video and go to the other way so check my channel you will find the proper videos how to build your um staff and dagger combination for example how to build your uh crossbow dagger longbow dagger how to build your uh great sword dagger combination and the main combination of the uh, of the of the classes i have the videos or how what can be your mid gear what you can be end end gear dps gear and other kind of videos you can find on my channel before the global release at least i will have all such kind of videos and you can see what is the uh, weapon which you have to focus middle i don't talk about these top weapons i always talk about the middle weapons which is the really good for you to focus it to uh, invest your all kind of lucent and solar to progress those weapons and the final thing guys is the most important thing that before you uh, take uh, check this uh, uh, check this make sure first your blue gear have to be plus nine never ever take your blue gear at the five level and get the purple gear and uh, transfer your experience uh, to that it is so bad movement and never do it for example i tell you something this is my nine uh, 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 nine level uh nine plus nine enchanted uh, uh legs so if this is the i uh, this is garbage these purple items are garbage i'm not gonna use them as my um for myself i just want to uh, trade this magic evasion i want from these items and uh, let's see let's imagine that this is the good one and i want to use it so i get this purple item i want to use it and i want to transfer xp from this so if i do it if i transfer xp from the 911 i will get this purple one at the six level this is amazing because for the gear you need like an eight level to take the maximum start from it at the nine level for the 
gear the purple one especially is only for more defense but it's not gives you inside the stats as much so um the from the 911 blue you are getting the uh six level purple to get the nine uh, to get the blue enchant it is way easier to get the purple enchant guys so always always try to make your blue gear plus nine don't use your purple gear always take at the beginning always take your blue gear first 9 11 save your purple gears and after that use your purple gears uh to uh, it's it have to be the plus six or uh, guys also don't forget that uh, sometimes the blue weapons and blue gears are better if it's traded than the without the trade of the purple gear so i think that was that uh i think this is the big video but uh, it's have its point to be the big video and i want to make sure i will think uh, uh, a bit more and i will wait the next update what can be more helpful for you uh, at the before the global release of throne and liberty i will capture one more video uh, such kind of uh, mistake uh, maker video and yes if i w if i miss something here the that video will be more helpful and more bigger for you so if you are watching this video and we have the global release check my other video uh it will be fresh new but uh younger than this one and i think i i, I can find more uh more mistakes which beginner players can make in front of liberty and i will try to help you guys because I play this game on the Korean region. I made my mistakes on the Korean region and I'm here to help you to don't repeat such kind of mistakes on the global release. I'm trying all the time to share my experience and I hope you are enjoying this game. I really enjoyed this game and yes guys, if you like this video, hit the like button and overall if you appreciate my hard work, if you like my channel, if this channel ever helped you, you can hit the subscribe button. It's increasing my motivation to do this kind of work and as always guys, see you in the next video.